Hello and welcome back to this channel once again. Now in today's lesson, we are going to solve basic problems on inductors. We are going to solve four questions and this happens to be our first question. Now if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like the video and share the video to all your friends. So let's start off with the first question. So question one, the current through a 0.1 Henry inductor is I of T equals 10 times T times e to the power negative 5 t amperes find the voltage across the inductor and the energy stored in it so we want to find the voltage across the inductor as well as the energy that is stored in the inductor so first of all we have the inductance of the inductor given in the problem as 0 0.1 henry's or 0 0.1 henry and then we also have the current I of t that is 10 times t times e to the power negative 5t amperes first of all we are being asked to find the voltage across the inductor the voltage across the inductor now to find the voltage across the inductor the voltage across the inductor that is v of t is given by l times the i the t so l here is the inductance of the inductor okay l here is the inductance of the inductor so that is giving us 0 0.1 so we have 0 0.1 times d dt of i and then this i is the current in or the current through the inductor so basically that is giving us 10 times t times e to the power negative 5t now this is a constant so we can pull out the constant therefore we are going to have 0 0.1 times 10 times d dt of t times e to the power negative 5t now we are going to multiply 0 0.1 by 10 and that gives 1 and then we multiply that by the derivative of this expression now we have the product of two functions here we have t and then e to the power negative 5t so what we are going to do is that we are going to differentiate this expression or this composite function using the product rule so first of all we are going to hold one function so in this case we hold t and then we differentiate e to the power negative 5t with respect to t so first of all we're going to differentiate the exponent so derivative of negative 5t with respect to t that basically gives us negative 5 so we have negative 5 here and then you multiply that by the original function and then plus this time we hold this function that is e to the power negative 5t and then we multiply that by the derivative of t which is 1 Next, we multiply 1 across, and therefore we are going to have negative 5 times t times e to the power negative 5t. And then here we have plus e to the power negative 5t. Now, you realize here that e to the power negative 5t is common to each of the two terms. So what we are going to do is that we are going to factor that out. So we have e to the power negative 5t outside and then inside the brackets we have negative 5t plus 1 okay so we can further express this as e to the power negative 5t times 1 minus 5t and basically this is the voltage this is the voltage that is v of t the voltage across the inductor so next we want to find the energy that is stored in it the energy that is stored in it so to find the energy so let's say we have p that is energy so let me try to divide this page so to find the energy stored in the inductor we know energy is given by half times the inductance of the inductor times current square 
Now from the question, we have L to be 0 0.1 Henry, and then we have I to be this expression. So basically we are going to do substitution. So we have W equals one over two times 0 0.1, okay, times I squared. So I is given by this expression, 10 times T times E to the power negative 5T all squared. So basically we are going to have W equals, now half times 0 0.1 is 0 0.05, okay? So we have this times, this becomes 100, that is 10 squared is 100. And then here we have T squared, we have E to the power negative 10T, okay? So basically we have W equals, so 0 0.05 times 100 is 5, okay? 0 0.05 is basically 5 over 100. So 100 cancels out 100, we are left with 5. So that becomes 5 times t squared times e to the power negative 10t. And since we want to find energy, energy is measured in joules. So basically this is the energy that is stored in the inductor. Now let's move on as we take the second question. Now to the second question, if the current through a 1 millihenry inductor is I of T equals 20 cos 100 T milliampers, find the terminal voltage and the energy stored in it. Find the terminal voltage and the energy stored in it. So first of all, we have the inductance of the inductor, that is L given in the question to be 1 milli henrys okay so basically that is 1 times 10 to the power negative 3 henrys okay and then we have the current i of t that is also giving us 20 cos 100 t milliampers okay so first of all we want to find the terminal voltage okay terminal voltage across the inductor so as we solved in the previous question we say that voltage v of t across an inductor is given by the inductance times the change in current okay with respect to time that is the idt so we have this to be equal to we have the value of l giving us one times 10 to the power negative 3 okay and then we multiply that by d dt of i of which i is 20 times cosine of 100 t so 20 is a constant we can pull out the constant so basically we are going to have 20 times 10 to the power negative 3 okay and then we multiply that by now we are left with d dt of cos 100t so what we are going to do is that we are going to differentiate cos 100t now first of all we are going to differentiate what's in the bracket so the derivative of 100t is 100 so we have 100 here and then whenever we differentiate cosine we have negative sign so we have negative and then sine of 100 t so next we are going to pull out negative 100 because it's a constant so we're going to have 20 times 10 with the power negative 3 times so let's say let's make this negative 20 so that this becomes a positive value okay times sine of 100 t now again we have one zero, one zero, one zero, so three zeros, okay? So they cancel out 10 to the power negative three, and then we are left with negative two. Therefore, we have negative two sine 100T millivolts. So that becomes the voltage across the inductor. Notice that the current was in milliamps. So therefore, the voltage we get is in millivolts. Next, let's find the energy that is stored in it. The energy that is stored in it. 
So for the energy stored in the inductor, that is given by W equals 1 over 2 times L times I square. So that is basically equal to we have 1 over 2 times L. L in the question. L in the question is giving us 1 milli henrys. So that is 1 times 10 to the power negative 3 henrys. So we have 1 times 10 to the power negative 3 henrys. Okay. Negative 3 henrys times. So for the current I square, we are going to have, we have the current basically to be 20 cos 100t. Okay. So basically, because the current is in milli amperes, we are going to change to amperes. Okay. So that's 20 times 10 to the power negative 3. Okay. Times cosine of 100t. Okay. So, and then we square this expression. So, we are going to have 0 0.5, okay, times 10 to the power negative 3, okay, and then times, here we have 20 times 10 to the power negative 3, okay, and then we have the square of it. So, this becomes 20, okay, so this in a bracket, 20 times 10 to the power negative 3, or square and then times cos square of 100 t okay so this is equal to now we want to multiply 0 0.5 by 10 to the power negative 3 by 20 times 10 to the power negative 3 or square so when you do that then you are going to have 0 0.2 times 10 to the power negative 6 okay times cos square 100 t okay so we can express 10 to the power negative 6 as micro therefore we have 0 0.2 0 0.2 times cos square 100 t micro joules so basically this is the energy that is stored in the inductor